Here we have two things that really bother people, fractions and function notation, but both are fine and Desmos can handle both. So uh, it, all you have to do is take this one fourth and plug this in for the X. So many of you can do this without going to a calculator. That's fine. I just suggest you show your work. So first and foremost, one fourth minus one fourth is zero. So that's why this isn't as bad as it looks because if we square zero, we get zero. And if we multiply five by zero, we get zero. So this whole thing, when we plug in one fourth, is fine. It just goes away. So that's just, what are we left with? We're left with 11 fourths. So put that in and 11 divided by four is, uh, let's see, 2.75. So that's also acceptable. So that's it. This ends up being, you know, really easy because the fractions are just there to scare you. It, it all works out very conveniently. But, you know, if you wanted to throw this in Desmos, and I recommend that you do it with the f of x. So if we type f of x equals five times uh, one fourth minus x, and don't forget the squared, people always do, uh, plus 11 fourths, right? That's our equation. Double check it and looks good. So now I'm just going to go down to a new line. And what did they want? Just, just type exactly what they wanted. F of, oh, got to type it again. F of one fourth. And I messed up the parentheses, but there you go. There's that 2.75. And if we wanted that as a fraction, just tap the little fraction button that's to the left there underneath the two and 11 fourths. So really no excuse to get this question wrong. If you have trouble with basic arithmetic and, you know, fractions, functionation make you nervous, then fine. Just go to the calculator and you know, just let the, the machine solve it for you. But uh, it's not that bad. And I think that that's exactly what the SAT was intending. They gave you a situation that looks scary at first glance to see who would panic. And then it turns out it's really easy. And they're trying to reward people who don't panic and who understand that once you subtract one fourth minus one fourth, this whole complex thing really just simplifies to one number at the end. And we don't even need to figure it out. It's just type it in that way and it's good. So yeah, please don't let fractions and function notation bother you. They're fundamental parts of math. They're fundamental parts of the SAT.